Give me your reaction to that one. Right. Proud. Proud, honestly. Yeah. Same again, we're 1 0 down. Uh, and to get back in it, Josh Rennie, same again, he's been working his shift and training. And what I said to my half time, big Emil picked up a knock. It's just the way it is now. It's, uh, and for Josh to come on, get his goal, he might have a couple with the bonus with you because it was. Uh, oh, I'm so, honestly, I can't be any proud of the boys, seriously. And Gal, Gal's been excellent, seriously, honestly. Like, he's worked rate and he's endeavour to get run about the pitch and lead, lead the boys. Uh, across the pitch, it's honestly, it was. You know, even get, just, every player, to be honest with you, it was honestly. I'm, see, if I'm a wee bit speechless because it has. It's been the way the way things have gone with Duff, obviously, at free while, uh, considering he scored on Saturday for us, and then obviously Emil get a knock and I'd say, right, can you give me five minutes at, at half time? And he said, yeah, yeah, I'll try. But listen, it's just same again. We're back to the drawing board. We could maybe have Emil out and Duff out. So. Listen, same again, we've just got to keep working away and keep plodding on. And it was a late, late show because we spoke to Josh a minute ago and I said, his equaliser spurt, what felt like a comeback. I mean, we were one run down, obviously, but the minute Josh got that goal, we got a huge lift with that. That's right, listen, that's what it takes. You're, you're always in the game, that's what I said to the boys. Like, at half time, it's now now. If you get a goal and you've got to, you just got to keep on because the teams are always in the game. I think even when you're 2 0 up, it's, you've still got a chance. Or you're 2 0 down, you've always got a chance in the game. Uh, and that's what we're trying to kind of say to the boys. You just keep working away and things will turn. And considering we've had two tough away games, considering we only had like kind of 12 players uh, fit, that's uh, about half five tonight. We're waiting on the boys coming out of isolation as well, about six o'clock. So, listen, full credit to every one of the players in there, subs included. Boys that are injured, you look at Big Tam as well. He's He's proud, proud of the boys in there. So every, everybody's together, uh, and and Duff as well. He's obviously watching. He's, he's zoomed in tonight uh, on the live stream. So obviously I've got a wee chat with him, uh, our usual chat after the game. If somebody had said to you, say last Thursday or Friday night, you get four points for these two away games, what would you have said? I said I want six. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, but listen, same again. I get, I get into every game. Uh, I know, obviously, but you look at it. Two defeats out of five, really. Now I know, obviously, the defeats won the good, but listen, we're we're still. I'm still learning. Duff's still learning. Robbo's still learning, and the boys are getting to know each other as well. It's still early doors, so listen. As I say, it's, it's I'm I'm so proud of the boys in there. Every one of them. I just honestly credit to every one of them. At the end of the day, I can make subs and do this, but the boys have got to go on the pitch. And as soon as they cross that line, it's up to them to go and do something. And. Um... I was going to ask you about Daryl, but in general, about injuries, you know, we head towards this cup game with Thistle at the weekend. How's it looking? Is it, I'm guessing it's going to be better. Yeah, I think it is. Obviously, you're going to get the boys coming out of isolation. We managed to get three of them back tonight. Uh, obviously, Big Emil's picked up a knock as well. Uh, so we'll just have to reassess him uh, going into Thursday night training. I don't think we'll have... Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure, obviously. Curtis's injury is still going to be out, but we'll have a look back and obviously Jack's him again tonight. I thought it was it was brilliant. Aye, aye, no, he pulled off a great save early in the second half. Did you worry? You talked about you know nil nil at half time, game still there to be to be won. We came out like a train at the start of the second half. Did you worry when Liam McCann scored and we then kind of seemed to go flat for a wee while? No, it's it's not worrying. It's just a case of when's when's it going to uh, turn for us aye. and. And that's what I said to the boys at half time. Listen, you've, you're always in the game, no matter what. If you're up 1 0, the opposite team of well, you, you, you'll get a chance at 1 0. And luckily, we we took it with Josh Rennie. It was a great finish. And then, uh, right to the death as well, with Gal, was, as soon as it left his foot, I knew it was a goal. Aye. I knew, Aye. I knew it was a goal. Uh, and it was, it was excellent, to be honest with you. So, listen, it was, it was one of the ones we. We found ourselves one 0 down, but great character to come back. And I'm guessing the dressing room's buzzing tonight. Oh, 100 percent. Listen, it's as soon as you come away from home and get a two 0 win, uh, two you you finish two one. Uh, it's it's especially when you score right to death. It's it's really good. It's just a shame you don't have the team bus to go back in, isn't it? <laughs> That's right. I threw <laughs> through obviously COVID reasons, but just decided to obviously rather than having two or three buses. I think it's the only right thing that we do with the boys just travel alone. Uh, so obviously I'll be travelling alone now, uh, but I'll be on the phone obviously hands free with speaking to Robbo and Duff. Uh, so no, listen, it's it's as I say, I, I couldn't be any more proud on the boys, and that's 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 a word of the night. To be honest with you, proud. Enjoy your evening, uh, Jamie. Thanks, Thanks so much.